Might be hard to tell, but there's bait jumping all over out there. You can tell they've all congregated up here in this flooded backwater. So, let's see if we can't get a couple shad for catfishing later. Oh man, okay. There we go. That's quite a few fish right there. So we got <coughs> common carp. Keep him. Don't keep these. Especially alive. These are nothing but trouble. That's more of the size we're after. Oh, he almost got away. That's a good size shad right there. Alright, so today I wanted to go over how I preserve my baits for the fall and winter time. And it's very simple. Just grab yourself uh, one of these vacuum sealers. They're, they can be pricey, but in the long run I find it way better than trying to find bait in the winter time so if you can get one of these go ahead and get it small batch right here so I'm gonna put only about four in there their little shad then I'll close it up vacuum them up and they're ready to go You want to try and keep these uh, baits as cold as possible up until the point that you're doing this. I had them sitting in a bucket of ice up until I was started back and chilling them. Yep, once it's done, you got a nice sealed up package with baits ready to go straight to the freezer. Usually in the fall and winter, catching shad becomes a very difficult task and if I don't have to do it I'm not going to do it and that's why I take the time now to prepare my baits for that time so that once it's once it rolls around I'm ready to go fishing right away As you can see, I got a German carp, and I'll, I'll use these just because I know they'll still catch fish. Um, I think they make pretty good baits. They're worth a shot. Try and not have anything touch in there, but easier said than done. Big old common carp. And there you have it, vacuum sealed shad and carp ready to go for catfishing in the fall and winter. 
As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys later.